Hello and welcome to this video demonstrating the AI Balancer class within the Moose framework for DCS Worlds. In this demonstration, I'm going to explain you the very basic functionality of the AI Balancer, how it interface, how to program it, and how to use it within your missions. Okay? In this little demonstration mission, the basic capabilities of AI Balancer will be shown. There are two client slots being defined at Krimsk, and there is an AI group consisting of one airplane that will follow its path towards the western side, and this AI is being used to replace the non-presence of players within the mission. In this mission it's important that you understand the naming of the objects, so when we go through the script you will be able to follow and understand which objects we are programming for. The two clients have the name RU space client, and then a raster sign, and then 001 and 002. The AI name is AI space RU. Let's take the script. You'll find it in the Moose Framework directory. Go to Test Missions. And then you'll find AIB, AI Balancing. And there you will find a couple of test missions. For the moment it's around four, but it may grow as new things will have to be explained later. Um, let's look at the first one, Spawn to AI. And let's open the Lua file. <coughs> now, this is a basic test that's going to demonstrate AI spawning and decommissioning as players join and leave the mission. Um, the AI balancer is being set up as follows. So, you first need a set of clients. You, you remember what a client is, right? It's basically a player slot. So, a set works with filter criteria. So, you can easily create a new set of clients. And then, we are going to select all the clients that belong to Russia and that are airplanes. And in our current mission, this is two, two groups. Those will be managed within the RU planes client set. The second is a spawn object <coughs> that we are going to create. We're not spawning anything. We're merely just creating the spawn object. So we are um, giving the name, and remember the name of the AI to be spawned was AI space RU. And then we do something really nice. This is this statement that in the next few videos will be explained a bit more intensively. This will declutter the airplane, the air bases with airplanes blocking each other when taking off from an airbase. Now, when I get deep, when I have these two objects here created from those classes, then now I can create the Russian AI balancer by providing the set as the first parameter of the clients and by providing the spawn object that will be used to spawn the AI as the second parameter. And this is the only lines you need to write to create a balanced AI within your multiplayer missions. So now here we are in the running mission and I'm going to demonstrate how this is working in real time. So, because I'm running in single player, I get the client slots presented in a list and I can choose the role. I am player pilot. So, in this case, I'm going to join the first slot, which is client 001. Client 001 is created. And it's located here. Now, now just notice here that the AI is not spawned immediately. It will be spawned gradually because there's a parameter that is that you can use to specify the range, the earliest and the latest when UAI will be spawned when it does a monitoring cycle through the through the monitoring process. So it may take a while. The default is around uh, from 10 seconds to 60 seconds that it will wait to spawn an airplane. And there we are. In around 52 seconds, 
this new airplane is being spawned and that's the new AI and this is the this is us okay I'm going to do something else I'm going to leave the mission now so we'll go back to spectators there I am I'm gone now let's see what happens in the meanwhile this one is taking off and there's my replacement AI now because this is flying out very quickly I'm going to connect now with client slot number two and you see immediately that the AI that was taking off has disappeared and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change slot immediately all right so now you see me here the new AI is being spawned again and I'll demonstrate it again just a second so I'm getting back into slot number one no slot number two there we are and just notice that the AI is not removed immediately it is removed uh, only when when uh, the the AI is scanning uh, how many players are actually uh, within the mission at that point in time so this demonstrates the first easy uh, capability of the AI balancer and in next videos I'm going to build up gradually the complexity thanks for watching